left with more than 80,000 pounds. Rated, underappreciated, unnoticed, battered, abused, and swept under the rug. Living show to show without secure benefits like medieval jesters. Run with the kittens. If you're actually listening to it right now, I played a song for my hamster that just died. Class. I like it. Underplayed and underpaid. Real local music. Use what you have. All the can rock stuff. And the can rock stuff too. Chuck wood around. We won't get into that. That was a good thing. Mondays at 6 p.m. What was special to me, I'm really cool, amazing, incredible. Like, I need to rise up to this level. Phenomenal. Definitely incredible. Probably the coolest. Destroy. You're a people of Oh. <laughs> Why are you killing me? I'll try not to swear. CFRU 93.5. Wow, the food was delicious. It had a smorgasbord of awesomeness. <laughs> So your uh, your regular breakfast sausage. I also uh, ate some cocktail leaders and drank some melon liqueur one one morning very early on the tour bus. Welcome to Underplayed and Underpaid. This is Brian McNeil sitting in uh, the studio at CFRU here. Doesn't look like Braden Johnson's going to be making it back in, but uh, we got a good show for you here today. Today we got the Nasties that uh, they they're opening for Diglo Abortions tonight at Molly Blooms and uh, fellas. Have you guys opened for Diglo Abortions before, or are you guys on a little tour, or what's going on with that? Okay. And introduce yourselves. Uh, actually, first we got Warren on the left, and uh, do you guys want to introduce yourselves and say what you do in the band? Sure. Uh, I'm Warren. I play guitar. I'm Michael. I play drums and backup vocals. I'm uh, Mr. Friendly. Uh, I'm the singer. <laughs> I'm Jim, and I play bass. Right on, guys. So, uh, what, is, uh, what is your band, and what do they do? We're trying to uh, revitalize the the actual the the kind of heart and soul of the old school punk. Um, not so much the British idea, but the West Coast Black Flag, um, so even West Coast Canadian like No Means No or Day Glow Abortions or DOA. <coughs> we're we're trying to keep it from getting that watered down post Green Day kind yeah. of sound. Good, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, everybody stood. Everybody sounds like Simple Plan these days. They're calling it punk rock. Right on. Uh, okay, well, speaking of punk rock, a little bit of what I know about punk rock is that uh, there's a uh, there's a big period of history where uh, punk rock really took uh, took foothold in uh, in South America, like in Ar Argentina. Are you guys familiar with uh, the history of punk rock in, in the southern not, South America? Not in the southern part. Oh wow! Yeah, well, <laughs> check it out. There's documentaries you can find out there. It's just uh, not coming to mind right now. All right. Well, uh, how long have you guys been uh, together as the Nasties and? Uh, Warren? Uh, probably uh, with Michael, probably a little over a year. About a year and three months? Yeah, yeah, yeah about that. Right on. And do you guys, I mean, over the years, have you been kind of, you know, substituting people in and well, was that kind of like a jazz we're, protect? We're a whole new entity these days. Oh, beautiful. Um, we've. Uh, I've I've been playing music since I've opened for Dayglo Abortions when I was 18 years old. So, oh wow, 20 years ago. Cool. <laughs> wow. And gotten back to the punk rock roots in the last year. Groovy. Yeah, I was in high school. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm and I'm I'm old. So. Uh. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, Jim, what other uh, what other projects do you got going on besides the Nasties? Uh, also play bass in the Dead Souls. Okay. The Joy Division cover band and. Other than that, just booking shows and putting on a festival this summer, a yeah. punk festival. What's the festival called? Where is it going to be? It's a uh, Riverside Park band show. It's, okay. It's uh, a punk reunion for kind of all the punks from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And you got the asexuals down. They're going to play and uh, take drugs. That's... <laughs> they're not going to come down and take drugs. That's no, the name of the band. They probably will. Well, no. yeah. <laughs> just trying to be no, radio friendly. That's uh, Al, what, Al Nolan from Al uh, Trigger Happy. Okay. He's coming down. Great Toronto punk. And Kingpin. Kingpin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, other man. Right on. And a bunch of local acts. <coughs> just to open up the shows. And okay. Um, well, growing up, what kind of influences did you guys have uh, musically or even in life uh, to bring you to this point? Well, I, I got to say for myself, uh, Henry Rollins was the big one. I, I got the opportunity to see Black Flag when I was uh, 14 years old in Ohio. And that kind of blew my mind. Made me think like... Hey, I don't want to be one of the guys watching here. I want to be one of those guys. Mm. Uh, and then I saw Fugazi when I was 16, and uh, next week <laughs> bought a bass and started playing some punk rock then. Sweet. Anybody else want to jump in there? Yeah, I, for me, I take influence from everything from jazz to classical to punk rock to metal, anything I can get my grubby little fingers on. <laughs> I, uh, 
I uh, usually throw on my ears, and uh, for me, I guess one of my first shows was seeing Rancid and the Ramones when I was 11 years old, and that uh, kind of cinched it for me for punk rock. Cool. Well, for myself, I was born in the early 60s, so I've seen it all. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, the surf scene, Big Daddy, uh, Dick Dale, Davy Allen and the Arrows, they were the first real um, set of musicians that uh, really turned my crank because it was high energy for the time. Mm -hmm. uh, very, I would say, simplistic, but, you know, it's very catchy, appealing. And I went through high school. I grew up in the, uh, through the 70s, through the Toronto uh, first wave of punk scene with uh, Diodes, Vile Tones, Teenage Head, the whole shebang. Dead Boys. Yeah. Now, that's a band. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a band that, that, is right. definitely a band. that left a mark on me. Okay. Um, now, could you explain, Warren? Uh, you know the style of music. Uh, you know, is it? How does it relate to today's punk, or even punk from 15 years ago? I would say that uh, back in uh, the late 70s, it was more or less uh, sort of sped up garage rock and roll, something that uh, you know kids could play rather than try and emulate these uh, big arena rock bands that were seemed to be like dominating uh, the music scene back then. Um, you know, it was a good opportunity for kids to just go out and play. Be musicians. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> it, it really didn't matter how, how well you played as if you, you know, had the cojones to get up there and do it. Mm. And if you do enough shows, you know, practice makes perfect. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, you know, I had my own little experience there managing a band, and it was really about, you know, get the ex the different types of experience. Just because, you know, you guys can, you know, play guitar. You've been playing guitar for 13 years. You also got to train other things, like, you know, how to set up and tear down yeah. real fast. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I mean, vocal training for some genres of music is uh, pretty <laughs> important, right? It's been great for this one because it's for, uh, required none. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you mentioned Henry Rollins. I was fortunate enough to see him a couple years ago at uh, in Kitchener. I think the place was called the Stage. Yeah, so I was that too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I got. Did you get tickets for the next one? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. Unfortunately, I've seen him about four times. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Just by chance, I was going to wear my Henry Rollins shirt today, and then I decided oh, I'm going to go got, with my Biltmore tee. So. I got my Henry Rollins tattoo back from the old days down there. Right on. Yeah, very influential dude. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys feel about uh, him now going into uh, you know, like the acting? Yeah, I think it's kind of it's kind of humorous seeing it, um, but I think he plays it well. He doesn't take himself too seriously, mm. which is which is nice. I like really liked his uh, talk show which I haven't seen for a while, but he had it on IFC there for a little while. And uh, he's just got that kind of angry intensity all the time, but the <laughs> sense of humor that denotes his intelligence and, oh, and sure. uh, understanding of the, the irony of I wish you'd stop. I think we should <laughs> stop acting get back in the band. Ditto. I agree. But, uh, <laughs> That's, and, uh, yeah. For anybody out there who's interested in Henry Rollins and uh, doesn't really quite know much about him, I, I recommend finding some of his uh, literature, some of his writings. And sure, well, Broken, Broken Summers is a really good, uh, really good book of just uh, kind of almost diary entries that he did. It's really funny and it's it's, uh, it's got some really good serious parts as well. Is that the one with the letter to Ann Coulter? No, I don't know uh, if that was printed. That was in his show. I know. I don't know if it's been printed, but uh, it was uh, it was a book that he wrote while he was doing a benefit record. Um, it was a benefit for the West Memphis Three, for anyone that knows what that is, uh, it was, which was uh, three three guys who were uh, convicted of murder uh, when they were 18 years old, and there was no proof of them uh, committing this murder, and they were they ended up actually uh, being locked away. Uh, till last summer, in which case they were uh, released. And uh, this book is basically about them, and it's about him getting all these uh, kind of famous musicians together to record this uh, tribute album for them. And it was all, uh, it was the Henry Rollins band with a bunch of different singers covering Black Flag songs. So I had like Lemmy from Motorhead, uh, the guy from Slipknot, um, guys from Rancid, guys from all over the map, just, uh, just kind of going out and supporting that cause and and the book is very very well written cool that reminds me uh some other things that i've been seeing like have you guys ever had an opportunity to check out the documentary called working class rockstar 
No. Not? No? It's an awesome one. These dudes in Leamington, a uh, band called Bloodshot Eye. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they brought up uh, the guy from Lamb of God and, and all these other dudes. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty sweet documentary. I still recommend it. I think I say it every, like, fourth or fifth show. Make sure you check that out. Can I plug it? Yeah. It's, well, I mean, it's great. And uh, it's just it's so hard to find, right? Because the dude went about the right way of getting it into the stores instead of, you know, allowing it to be, like, a, an open piece of media for everybody to get, which yeah. is really the way that that, if you watched the documentary, you would have been like, it should have been kind of a giveaway, a free thing. But, you know, capitalism rules, right? There's been a lot of really good Canadian music documentaries lately, though. Like, the Anvil documentary was yep. amazing for, you know, seen that. Yeah, I was about to mention it, yeah. so thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I had an opportunity to, to meet uh, Lips and, uh, and uh, the drummer. Um, uh, Rob. Yeah, I was supposed to meet them at, uh, at a show that my band was playing at Hard, <coughs> Hard Luck Pub. I decided not to go, and apparently nobody saw any of them there, but uh, it was advertised they were going to be there. So <laughs> yeah, they're getting paid for their name, and that's... Yeah. I guess there comes a time where you have to do that, right? Pressure. Hopefully, it, hopefully everybody gets paid a little bit sometime. No doubt. So uh, <laughs> the nasties. Want some. Yeah. <laughs> How can anybody find the nasties online to listen to some music? Uh, that's, good, that's a good question. <laughs> well, we're currently uh, in the midst of recording our uh, debut right now. Uh, we've got some live uh, videos on YouTube. Um, we're uh, we've got a Facebook fan group, but we're still kind of developing more of a web presence. Um, we're uh, right in the midst of mixing uh, our record, which is exciting. then we'll launch like a yeah. web page with the songs on it and downloads. Yeah, kind of did it a little backwards. We just kind of started falling into shows, and then just kind of got into routine, <laughs> just playing shows. And we're like, hey, maybe we should do some recording. And uh, yeah, we had kind of started out the the whole band as actually just playing punk rock, old school punk rock covers. And then Michael joined, and we just we've we've gone from from mostly covers and one or two originals to mostly originals and one or two covers. For great. Set. Yeah, it's, we only didn't have Michael for like a month. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, so. not like we were kicking it hard before. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. March and then yeah. April we do our first show. Yeah, right on. We play, we've been playing quite a lot of shows. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, for over a year. I think we played about 20, 20 in the first year. Which yeah. where where have you guys played? Uh, the A and A F, uh, downtown Guelph. And um, Navy Air Force Club. Yeah, yeah. yep. Um, Amazing. Jimmy Jazz club. Uh, place called City Lights down in uh, St. Catharines. Um, my brother owns a brewery called Brew Pub called Taps down in Niagara Falls. There's a plug, Taps Brewing Company. Taps Brewing Company. Great right. place they to go. They sponsor us. They sponsor, well, tasty, Michael, they, they sponsor us, and I get free beer all the time, so that's what keeps the band going after that. That's why it keeps them coming back to practice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, play, uh, play the Bovine Club with C.J. Ramon. Yeah. That was good. Um, that's in Toronto? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where else? Mitzi's sister in Mitzi's Toronto. Sister in Toronto. Mitzi's Mitzi's so we usually play Toronto, St. Catharines, Guelph. Yeah. yeah we want to break it in Hamilton because we understand yeah, there's a great, a great punk scene in Hamilton. Going right heard. We're talking about getting some shows in uh, Ottawa later in the summer mm -hmm. with uh, the great band called uh, Robots Everywhere who are uh, trying to find a show this Thursday and maybe a show this Thursday happening at the ANAF. We're uh, just finalizing those details. and It'll be us and Robots Everywhere and a band called Dead Weights. Right on. That'll probably be available on musiclives.ca. Make sure you check that out. I'll get into that a little bit later on and uh, talk about what's going on downtown and around town Guelph with live music. Thank you, Aaron Dale. It's another plug. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, can we... Uh, can we play uh, any of these songs that you uh, that we see? Uh, I put in the Nasties band on YouTube. Any of these, you? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> Maybe we'll uh, we'll do the Facebook thing and find some videos yeah, that yeah. way. All right. Facebook. <laughs> you can always find the Facebook. The recent uh, rec our recent show at the ANAF Warren's amp blew up, and we decided to turn the band into a uh, hip hop band. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little clip of clip of that. Yeah. That Probably not radio friendly. It's not radio friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, uh, that brings up another point. Uh, I was thinking about you know Henry Rollins and the way he's gone into acting after being one of those like devout people, like you know stop marketing and yeah, yeah. bringing the people down. Yeah, no, he's and humanitarian, <laughs> and uh, and he does that. And he was he was in that movie Wrong Turn Two. What, what was the oh what was the one the vampire movie? Uh, 
He's just doing the opposite of what he was yeah. supposed to do. Well, and when cute. he talks about it, he just like he just like I like to work. Like he I remember going to maybe it was actually a Kitchener show he was talking about like how he hates the winter holidays because it's a week where he can't work. So it's he just uh, he just tries to get as much work as possible, and he ends up getting acting gigs out of that. I guess from, yeah. from the sounds of it. Cool. Well, I mean, it just it, when you said rap, it reminded me of Ice Cube and the <laughs> yeah. way that I just yeah yeah, you, you, yeah. sob right like <laughs> you're you're you come up with albums called Cop Killer and stuff like that, and then 15 years later you're you know yeah. the, the chief of police on a TV yeah, show sure. that I don't know. I think it just takes a little bit away from the artist. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, uh, how about we play your tune that we got on CD here, sure. and then uh, while that's playing, uh, we'll try and find some other stuff. It's already in there, yeah? Yeah, I mean, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is a work in progress. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a work in progress, yes. Okay, and uh, well, do you want to tell the listeners what the song is called and what it's about and who wrote it? That's inspirations. Good, but, uh, oh, okay. Warm, All right. Uh, the song's called Discipline, and it actually was written back in probably 1978. One of my uh, 79s with the well, 78, 79, um, <laughs> and uh, it was my uh, second punk band I was ever in. Uh, we never did too much with it, and so it sat on the shelf for all these years. And it's about his love for a dominatrix. <laughs> <laughs> I love songs about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here we go. It's the Nasties. You want to introduce the song, Warren? Uh, the name of the it. The song's called Discipline. All right. On By C- the Nasties. On CFRU. <laughs> 93.3. And rubber, we're all out of bad. They think they're too happy to hear me scream and howl. Is that a spot I can see, or is it just a scout? Play the play, win the day. You get up on, get it paid. Yeah, so that was Discipline by, uh, well, actually, the band. What was the band called uh, when you were in it back uh, in the the day, Warren? uh, uh, The band called the Acuparos. And the name, we got that by just getting a bunch of random letters, pulling them out of a hat, and the first thing that sounded like a word, we got that sort of band name. (laughs) Okay. Seriously. (laughs) That's very... That's completely different from anything uh, that I've ever heard from a band coming into the studio. <laughs> well, we were pretty lazy about naming our songs, <laughs> so we thought well, that was the best route. Did do with art? I did that in high school too, and the uh, band almost was called Smegma. Smegma. But we just uh, we just opened up a dictionary and put our finger on the first word, and it was Smegma. <laughs> Smegma. That reminds me of uh, that was in a movie, Jay and Silent Bob, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, Smegma. Why don't you uh, tell the listeners what the uh, definition of schmegma means? I'd rather not. All right, then we won't. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Maybe they will if you come down to. I uh, wouldn't mind. To Molly's, uh, come down to Molly's tonight. Uh, the Nasties are performing with 
Dego mm-hmm. abortions and, and program and brutal youth of Kitchener. All right, there you go. The, the, uh, what time does that all pop off at? Start about eight eight thirty. Uh, probably nine. Nine o'clock. Yeah, I think. Yeah. All right. The doors Blues. open at nine. Probably first band on nine thirty. All yeah. right. That's it. Molly Blooms in downtown Guelph. Dayglo abortions. You know, Canadian punk legends. The nasties. Broken youth and uh, brutal, brutal youth. youth yeah. Brutal youth. All right. And end program. End Bosch program. Show. Yeah, and that's all. Also, uh, you can find all that information on MusicLives.ca. And uh, probably got a little bit of a write up and whatnot. Aaron Dial's always busy. And uh, sorry, I gotta do five things at once here. <laughs> all right. Um, what do you guys want to talk about next? I think uh, Jim. Probably we should talk more about this uh, punk rock reunion thing. Yeah, the festival this summer. Okay, what's going on with that? The Nassies have been playing. Well, uh, Mac Granger and Mikey Granger and myself and my wife Monica have started this little uh, uh, end name. name. Uh, Well, there's a bunch of (laughs) us. Drinking taps beer, you know. And uh, (laughs) decided to throw a reunion for all the, you know, punks and groups of people that were all around 70s, 80s, 90s and stuff. And we just thought we'd get some really good bands and have a good show and vendors. It's, it costs a lot of money, but there's a ticket sale, obviously. But they can get tickets at uh, Stigmata Tattoo Downtown, okay. Stigmata on Stone, the A and AF, and the Ward Skate Park. There you go, Ward Skate Park. Haven't and heard we'll that. be announcing yeah. a big headliner hopefully at, by the end of this week. And they're huge. Yeah. They're going to be fantastic. Yeah, and with asexuals are great enough. John Kastner, and, you know, take drugs is great. They got. We got the Dead the Souls, Souls. Ac- uh, Dead Souls, Acme, his old band will be uh, reuniting, and Mac Ranger, who's helping me do all this, and the Mastermind, and uh, yeah, it's tons of other local bands to keep the local music going. Right Get a on. chance to play with bigger bands and bigger crowds. Well, as you just mentioned, uh, that band there. How about we play a track by Take Drugs? Oh yeah, that'd be good. All right, this uh, I hate the world today. Yeah, all right, by Take Drugs on 93.3 CFRU, sitting in the studio with the nasties. So let's make sure that we get this working. All right, cued play. A little shorter than I expected. Then again, <laughs> I should have expected it to be a little short, as uh, punk bands usually, you know, yep. quick and full of energy and you know, punch yep. you in the face. We presently uh, have a four-second song that we can't say the name of on the track. <laughs> four-second song, eh? Yeah. As well as in this festival, all profits go to the Guelph Food Bank. So that's the whole point of the whole thing. The whole point of it, everything is. <laughs> it's to get everybody together, but also yeah. Once cost. once everything's paid, the bands are paid, and you know, the vendors and all the garbage cans and everything yeah. is paid it's everything goes to the guelph food bank all right so, so yeah, that festival the, a lot. is called it's just the 519 punk reunion okay yeah Guelph food bank food fundraiser i did some reading about that and uh okay now i've put it all together is <laughs> yeah i'm slacking a little bit i got so many different you know varieties oh, of music and uh big thanks to aaron dale for helping me keep track of what's going on and uh, sorry if I'm a little, if I sound like I'm a little under the weather. I feel a little under the weather. What yeah. crap weather we got and going on? This is weather to be well under. Yeah, under the weather. Weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Okay. Um, well, how about right now? How about I uh, pop in a disc? As uh, last time, Diglo Abortions was in town. A band called Unleash the Archers was flying through town, and uh, it was either Dylan Dawson or Aaron Dale who. Uh, who decided that they were going to throw these guys at me as it was also a Monday and these guys were playing before Day Glow. And uh, they decided to come into the studio and a great bunch of guys and girl. And, uh, well, here's a little track from those cats. And uh, we'll be back with the nasties again in a few short minutes. So enjoy Unleash the Archers. And the song's called uh, The Outlander on 93.3 CFRU.
And we're back here in the studio at CFRU 93.3 University of Guelph Community Campus Radio. What up, Harry? Good to see you, man. Uh, I believe the show is off the map, which is on next, or it's on the map. I can never get it right. It's always the opposite of whatever I say. <laughs> it's uh, one of those. We cover your bases. You got both of them. Yeah. All right. So video nasties. Da, 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 da. If you want to find them on the YouTube. Toronto, yeah. Yeah, the nasties Toronto. We're gonna try that and uh, see what comes up. As we're allowed to do this on our open format. Second one though. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> let's play. Let's play this song. It's another song by the nasties. Uh, Computer B. All right. So the song is called uh, called. <clears throat> Pardon my French, uh, hippie stoner fuck, and uh, I'm allowed to say that because that's the name of the song. And there's it's just raid doors. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta tell you, you know, uh, uh, listener discretion is definitely advised. And it's, it's actually, and I, unfortunately, I should, I have to do my disclaimer on saying the word again. It's actually stoner hippie fuck. Okay, yeah, it's backwards. Uh, with right, beautiful ra- rather than hippie stoner fuck, it's stoner <laughs> hippie fuck. You know? Okay, hippie no, no, stoner. no. But that's just the name of the song. I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> yeah, in case anybody's looking for it, uh, you know, in their, oh, their their archive of old nasty songs. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, all within uh, within uh, the boundaries here on CFRU. Let's hear the this song. Live, remember, yeah, this is uh, live from Mitzi's sister in Toronto uh, in December. All right, yeah, all right. Let's drop it. Ninety-three three CFRU underplayed and underpaid. Back in CFRU studios with the nasties and uh, kind of interesting. The uh, that song was written about a particular individual and said particular individual <laughs> happened to be listening to the show. So thank you very much for uh, for lending us your ear and keeping it locked at ninety three three CFRU University of Guelph. 
Community Campus Radio, and the show is underplayed and underpaid. And if uh, if you are in a band or you know a band that wants to uh, be in touch or do some free promo on the radio, get a hold of me at, uh, you can email me at B-R-Y-A-N-C-F-R-U at gmail.com. That's B-R-Y-A-N-C-F-R-U at gmail.com, and I'll get together, do a pre-recorded, or even have you come into the studio, which is the format that we've been doing a lot lately. And uh, I want to thank the Nasties again for coming in, and... Uh, yeah, interesting that the dude that that's about is listening. And he must have had a great time, eh? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, no problem. Um, what do you? What else do you guys want to do to promote? Or do you we, guys have anything you want to say? Or? I guess uh, we should also promote uh, uh, a place that the guys that are at, in which we the place in which we recorded yeah. our album yeah. uh, called Turtle Shell Studios. They're uh, they're starting off. Kind of uh, an idea of trying to create a musical community. Uh, my my friend Phil, uh, who owns the place, is out in Breslau, um, and they have recording. They have a facility to record in, but also to jam in, and mm. they do uh, Saturday night hoot nanny, in which just whoever comes out and plays music, and <laughs> they want to go from there. But we should mention Turtle Shell Studios. Yeah, and uh, spank the band, right? Yeah, spank the band. Spank Phil the is band. the drummer for Spank. Terrific, yeah, they did an awesome Valentine's Day show. Yep. Oh, you were that? Yep. Yeah, I was at that. That yep. was that was the dork with the uh, with the blonde uh, mullet on and the three piece <laughs> suit. Yeah, I had a good night that night. As I'm single, yeah. that's for all the ladies out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the best way to go. Now see it's you. your turn to plug. Well, the, <laughs> that was uh, actually that was a precursor to me being in a music video uh, that my band across from Rogers shot at the Manor. Yep. And they performed and did a live uh, live thing there for Foxy Boxing Halftime. What a fun time that was. But, yeah, oh I was in character in the exact same uh, three-piece 80s suit. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so you know, keep uh, keep tuned for that. Uh, keep YouTube and Across from Roger every once in a while, and uh, eventually you'll see the new music video that might not be up online until uh, August or so uh, because i got to do a bunch of promotions with it, selling it at uh, at their shows. they got a festival coming up at... Uh, I believe well, on the other side of London anyway uh, around May 2-4 so yeah there you go check out across from roger.ca also it's, a, you know, it's the uh, website that I made and I put up for them a bunch of pictures a bunch of interviews including two interviews that were done here and one of the interviews was all uh, was uh, Michelle in the studio who's the drummer from across from Roger uh, and with the lead singer of the Millers and the lead singer of uh, Hustle Rose who will also be performing this Saturday at uh, the Red Papaya. It's an all-ages event. It's $4 cover. goes from about 9 until midnight, so it's a little plug for that. More importantly, tonight, we got Dayglo Abortions at Molly Blooms. The Nasties, who are in the, stu- uh, the station right now, are opening for them along with Brutal Youth. And then Program. And end program. It's too many names for me to remember. Yeah, I know, I know. And uh, yeah, so that's popping off about 9 o'clock. Come down to Molly Blooms, have a couple pints, and... Uh, and support uh, your your punk scene uh, advocates here, the nasties. And so, uh, if, if you're busy tonight, uh, there's we're likely playing Thursday at uh, the ANF. It's in the works. Keep your eyes peeled. And uh, if you feel like traveling on Friday, we're playing Niagara Falls at uh, Taps Brewery. Do you know the address? Something Queen Street. Qu- something Queen Street. <laughs> All right, that's Taps You'll Brewery. See <laughs> and we're playing uh, with uh, the band I mentioned earlier, Robots Everywhere, at both shows. Uh, fantastic bands. Uh, <coughs> which uh, yeah, you're pr- we promoting his new album from Ottawa. Yeah, I believe uh, you have a song you can play. Of that? Uh, that I do believe we got something um, kind of queued up. Robots <laughs> Everywhere. All right. So uh, which one did you want to? Uh, the song is called About Dinosaurs, and uh, uh, this is uh, this is my friend Phil. It's a one man band. He's uh, he's come to Guelph and played at the ANF a few times. And uh, he's uh, it's fantastic. It's just party punk rock uh, with an electric guitar and a drum machine, and it's great. And Honor- streamers and crepe paper. Yep. Yeah, it's o- true. Honorable mention too is Ottawa's uh, hottest male vocalist. Yep. Yeah. That's he right, he, uh, he right. was in the contest for Ottawa's hottest male vocalist, and he was the honorable mention. So. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. All right then. Pretty well, sure Jim voted was all the votes. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it was me. All right, so here's uh, About Dinosaurs by Robots Everywhere, 93.3 CFRU, University of Guelph, Community Campus Radio. Bam.
Join us each week, Thursday evenings from 9 to 10 p.m. for Jazz Traditions. We'll highlight music from the 1940s through the 1970s, from Art Tatum to Zoot Sims. We'll occasionally have an interview or guest, too. That's Thursdays at 9 here on CFRU for Jazz Traditions. You're listening to CFRU 93.3 FM, 250 Watt of Community Power. Come celebrate Guelph's diversity at the annual Guelph Pride Week from Saturday, May the 5th to Sunday, May the 13th. There will be a pride dance, a drag show cabaret, a community symposium, and much, much more. Visit the official Guelph Pride Facebook page for more details. Or visit Out on the Shelf, located at 141 Woolwich Street in Guelph. Come Come get get your your pride pride on. on. For the latest adventures in modern music, listen to Sounds from the Tall House with your host, Michael Mucci. Every other Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, right here on CFRU 93.3 FM. My name's Carly, and I like volunteering at CFRU because I get to interview people that I'm really excited about. My name is Sydney, and I volunteer for CFRU because I like to do research on important new topics. My name is Danielle, and I like to volunteer for CFRU because I think it's important to cover things that aren't broadcasted on mainstream radio. If you would like to get involved with CFRU, contact Christopher at 519-824-4120, extension 58341, or volunteer at CFRU.ca. We're back at CFRU, 93.3, underplayed and underpaid with the nasties. And uh, I want to thank Warren, Michael, Nathan, and Jim for coming down, um, you know, on such short notice. And also because they're doing a show, they're about to actually head to Molly Blooms right now. So if there's anything you guys want to say to the listeners, uh, you know, give a couple more shout-outs or anybody we haven't mentioned. Come out and see us tonight. All right. <laughs> Come out and see us tonight. Uh, other than that, I've been getting texts from people. I should probably mention a guy that I used to work for for Green Earth from Spray Foam. Uh, therefore, uh, maybe he'll give me some money or something. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Joe. Um, for all your spray needs. And for all your spray needs and any kind of foam you need. Uh, Does he also do cleanup? Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's what he's got uh, helpers for, such as the guy that that song was about. Right on, very good. <laughs> All ties back in. That's right. right. So, yeah, tonight, Molly Blooms, Big Low Abortions, The Nasties, Brutal Youth, and I keep forgetting the last End one. Program. End Program. End Program. I should have written it down. They're actually the ones that are on tour with Big Low. Oh, okay. And and are, I guess, officially the show promoters. I guess so, yeah. We're just the ones showing yes. up and dropping off the PA. Right on. All right, well, uh, what are we going to do now? Can't do that. All right, I'm going to get into uh, a few things that are going down with musiclives.ca, and I want to say again thanks to the guys. Uh, yeah, they were just saying that they got to get moving, heading down to Molly Bloom. So thanks, the nasties, for coming out, and uh, I'm going to be out there at Molly Bloom's tonight having a couple pints and listening to some... Checking it out. Uh, oh, yeah, listening to some, uh, some old-style punk. I'm excited. Perfect. All right, and also, yeah. don't forget... Henry Rollins, June 11th, is coming to uh, Kitchener. I don't know if it's sold out, but you should find out because it's going to be a great time. Bad Religion, Friday, uh, June 15th, just after that, in North by Northeast, uh, free downtown Toronto, which will be definitely a heck of a show to check out. There you go. July 14th, Riverside Park. The Guelph Park Festival. 519. (laughs) 519. You can get your tickets. Um, Head down. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's the 519 Punk Reunion, and uh, you can get your tickets again at Stigmata, uh, the one downtown, and also the one up in the south end on Stone Road, and uh, anywhere else. You uh, can the get ANF, things. you can get them there, and at the Ward Skate Park on York Road. That's right. Victoria. All right, well, thanks again, Nasties, for coming on in, and I'm going to move on to my show here and start talking about what's going on on musiclives.ca. I'm going to browse by date and see what we get. All right, well, there's today's show. How you like that? <laughs> you gotta love that. Uh, 
thanks again, Aaron Dale, for, for hooking me up with, uh, with the mention on musiclives.ca. If you want to know what's going on, yeah. So tonight, of course, right there, Diglo Abortions with end program, The Nasties and Brutal Youth at Molly's tonight. It's $10 cover. Show starts at 9 p.m. Uh, maybe I can get in free. We'll see. <laughs> All right, Monday, Paul French. There's two places where you can get live music downtown Guelph now on Mondays, and it's uh, Baker Street Station with Paul French and the Jimmy Jazz with the great Paul McLeod. And, uh, yeah, come on out if you got nothing to do on a Monday night. And uh, live jazz music every Tuesday with the smooth jazz of the Derek Hines Quartet, 8 p.m., free show. Come out and get some food and some jazz. And, uh, yeah, another shout-out to Johnny Chapman. He's the, uh, the number one bass player in, in Canada for his age group, and he's out there, you know, slapping that bass every Tuesday. Um, Mike something with from the test icicles, uh, 10 p.m. free show every Tuesday at Doogie's and Pablo's, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Anybody else here know how to pronounce that? <laughs> Juno award-winning Canadian soprano Maisha Bruegers goes. Anyway, yeah, he can sing. He's going to be at the Dublin Dublin Street United Church on Wednesday, the 25th of April. And uh, $44 of tickets. They're on sale at Ground Floor Music. There you go. Name that tune every Wednesday. Come out and Aaron Dale will ask you some questions. Maybe you can win some free beer at the Jimmy Jazz every Wednesday night. The Sweet Mac. 11 presents a Sweet Mac with Archives and the Dirty Nil. 19 plus 10 p.m. free show. That's at Jimmy Jazz on Thursday, the 26th of April. Odium. Chronic Noise presents Odium for the CD release party for Burning the Bridges to Nowhere. Along for the ride are Guelph Band, Arkham Awaits, Aquila, Aria, and Malignant Theory. 7 p.m. all ages license, $10 or $15, and get a copy of the new CD. Uh, then there is the Jimmy Jazz after party. Always a fun time, the party at the Jimmy Jazz. That's Friday, the 27th of April, 2012. Club Vinyl. Don't Mind Buying, Guelph, Ma uh, Guelph Metal Band, Don't Mind Dying, uh, Return from the Dead for one last show. This is the official after party for Club Vinyl show the same day, 19 plus. It's at the Jimmy Jazz, Friday. And I'm going to be there for that too. Uh, the Dusty Strings with special guests. That's a 19 plus event, $5, 8 p.m. on Friday, the 27th of April at the ANAF. That's the Army Navy Air Force Club down beside uh, Harvey's there on, uh, on Gordon. So make sure you check that out. The Dead Souls, uh, Joy Division cover band, The Dead Souls, playing with special guests, London Band, Oily Birds. That's at 10 p.m., 19 plus free show on Saturday, the 28th of April at the Jimmy Jazz. And then uh, you get into open stage with Nat, uh, Nate Coles. And, uh, yeah, then everything kind of starts repeating. I also want to say um, Corduroy Road is scheduled to play at, um, at the Red Papaya the 25th of May. And I got to say that uh, the Durants are performing with Broken Caliber May 5th. That's going to be a great show. The Durants actually are a high school band who won the, uh, they won the Battle of the Bands at John F. Ross this year. So they're going to be uh, performing at Hillside, which is always cool for, you know, Hillside to do that for the, uh, the, the youth and the local bands in Guelph. And uh, they're going to be here. And uh, last week I interviewed Broken Caliber, so you can check that out in the archives at www.cfru.ca and uh, go to the archives and find the date, right-click on the play button, and you can actually download the show within, within a matter of a few seconds. So uh, that's also for everybody here in the studio. Go ahead, take whatever we do in here and use it for whatever social media you want to use it for. And uh, that goes for anybody. If, uh, you know, if you like the show, check it out. Again, get a hold of me, B-R-Y-A-N-C-F-R-U at gmail.com, and uh, we'll come do some live promotion with you on the air. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, uh, any other dates from the Red Papaya, but uh, they'll all be available at musiclives.ca in the near future. So make sure you check that out each and every day. More importantly, check out the blog. They're doing some crazy reviews for uh, for bands and albums and releases. And the last one they did here was uh, Music Monday, April twenty third, twenty twelve, by Teresa. She did the post, and uh, da 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 da. She's just saying, "Hey, I'm new for writing, long running column, Music Monday here on Music Lives from now on, et cetera, et cetera." So check that out, and uh, yeah, there you go. There's a whole bunch of uh, write ups there on MusicLives.ca. Someone reviewed Rick Astley. <laughs> oh, really? Somebody reviewed Rick Astley on, yeah, on musicloops.ca? Thank you, Aaron Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll right down. On. It was, uh, all right, all right. Rick Astley. I, I didn't know. Uh, my goodness, my life. 
Like, little biogra- uh, uh, we got to have a talk here in Dale. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I, I'm going to be there behind the nasties like, what? <laughs> 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 he, of course, will also be at uh, Molly Blooms tonight. So if you're buddy with Aaron Dale, come on out. And uh, I guess we're kind of just uh, clipping oh, down to the end. Uh, I thought the nasties were going to be taken off because they were in a rush, but it seems like they've stuck around. What do you guys want to hear? Stick little fingers. You can't say crap on the radio. Is that a name of a song? Stiff Little Fingers? Stiff Little Fingers. Stiff? Stiff Little Fingers. Stiff Little Fingers. All right. We're going we're gonna to find this. You can't fingers. say crap on the radio. Warren's obviously put a lot of thought into this. Stiff Little Fingers. You can't say that on the radio. We're looking for it, and thanks can't for... Uh, crap on the radio. You can't say crap. Can't. No, there there it is. is. All right. Well, seems like it's only audio. All right, we'll check it out. 93.3 CFRU. Thanks you. very much. Thank for you very much, Brian. Thanks, Ryan. That you never been We'll make a right at the border And just get lost Baby, won't you be my girl I ain't got no time for feeling lonely I got the whole town, baby, on a little old string Come on, no, tonight you can be my thing I trade my old six-shooter for a diamond ring Take you all the places that you never been We'll make a right at the border And just get lost, baby, won't you be my girl For being lonely I got the whole town, baby On a little old string Come and know tonight You can be my thing Well, I got no time For the human race Everybody fighting All over the place Why don't we Grab a bottle And head uptown Baby, won't you be my girl Baby, won't you be my girl Baby, won't you be my girl